Hello everyone and welcome to a new video describing a process in BPMN format in detail. The process we are going to study today is the opportunity process. As soon as an opportunity is created, on an initial form represented here, the user must fill in the necessary information for proper tracking of the opportunity. After that, the user will be prompted to click a button to move to the next step, which is to qualify the opportunity. The modeling of this state change is represented here by a script task that will currently change the status of the current opportunity and arrive at a user task to qualify the opportunity. Once the opportunity is qualified, two outcomes are possible for the user. Either to revert to a previous status by clicking the appropriate button and thus return to the new status or to move to the next status, which is the proposal. Once again, a script task changes the status of the opportunity and the user is prompted to make a proposal once more. The outcome of the proposal is ultimately either a step back to the qualified status or essentially moving on to the negotiation status in the end. From the moment that an offer is in the negotiation status, we reach an event-based gateway, which will wait for two separate and distinct events, which could be either of the two, the first is that the opportunity is archived. The second is that the back button, return to previous status, is clicked. This returns the opportunity to the proposal status. We also notice the presence of four event sub-processes that we will detail in the following sections. The first, and the simplest of all four, is the planning of an event during the opportunity's life cycle. At any given moment, the user has the ability to click upon the button labeled as Schedule an Event, which will subsequently trigger an event tracking process through a message event. The process is not represented here because it is not directly related to the specific opportunity's life cycle. The other event subprocess of interest is the case where the user specifically clicks on actually losing the opportunity. It is a subprocess that starts with an interrupting conditional event where the first step is to call an action, a script to open a second form in a pop-up format so that the user can indicate the reasons for the loss and click the OK button. Following this, two scripts will be executed in order to successfully change the status of the opportunity to lost and also to appropriately cancel any potential orders that might have been potentially placed from this opportunity. On the other hand, in essence, a one opportunity is in fact much simpler. Once again, in this scenario, we have a conditional interrupting start event that will simply initiate and trigger the specific actions for a set of predefined and expected one opportunity. And finally, the last event subprocess, which is indeed a bit more complex, which this time actually starts with a non-interrupting conditional event that indeed involves creating a quote at any given time during an opportunity the user always has the option to create a quote without this quote creation process interrupting the ongoing process. The creation of a quote falls into a transactional subprocess, which means it involves several steps and therefore includes a cancellation process. As depending on the quality of the opportunity, we have different behaviors and outcomes that can vary significantly. Either a client already exists for this opportunity in which case there is no contraindication to definitely generating a sales order, or there is no client, but there is at least one lead filled in. In these cases, we can indeed validate and trigger the cancellation of creating a new client or the creation of a new client. Once again, the creation of the client is triggered. The client creation process is absolutely triggered by a message event and is not represented here as it is certainly independent of the opportunity's life cycle. The only information that will interest us is to retrieve and gather through this message reception event the important fact that the client has been created and that we can now proceed to create a quote with all the necessary details. Finally, in the last scenario of this event-based gateway, there is neither a partner nor a lead, and in these cases, we simply initiate the transaction and create the quote. Listen, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for more videos on BPM.